Potter's Journal. The um, comments here have been lively lately, and I think we all need that right now. But one really got to me. It was, who throws your pots? Well, I do. Let's see. I could throw a pot on the potter's wheel in the studio today. So I guess there may be some justification to the question, who throws your pots? All I do in this, my videos is decorate them, put them together, make spouts and handles. I had to go pretty far back, and then it was usually never much of anything than a low wide bowl, a lot of pie plates. I just finished um, a series of pots. Um, Jugs demonstrating a slip technique I've developed. That was fun. Uh, before that, I did some mugs and showed how to personalize them and stamp them. Oh, I didn't even personalize them. They were just Pittsburgh mugs. And before that, I did some collecting. Uh, Packing and shipping a trade with um, the theme of Farago and the pig bank. Before that, a series of garden sculpture made out of terracotta sewer pipe. Yeah, that was all hand building. And a lot of kiln unopening, uh, kiln unloading videos. Uh, showed how to glaze a large um, bowl with a tire iron um, by setting it over top of um, a large basin to catch the glaze. Um, I spent most of the winter working on a series of jugs um, influenced by uh, country folk pottery from Provence. And, you know, I actually did, <laughs> at the beginning of the year, throw some pots um, off the hump, a little shot, let's do some shots. I did some small shot glasses, so that's really not saying much. Um, we took a visit to my supplier when I got clay. Um, I always start to, or end the year by um, leafing through my potter's journal. Um, in December I made a wreath. Um, I make about 300 wreaths each year, so I showed how to make a uh, living uh, pine green, spruce, fir green wreaths. Um, okay, took me had a visit to Florida and um, the pottery of Freddie Moretti, where um, yeah we trimmed using his Griffith grip I think it's called, and I visited uh, Greek fishing village in Florida, Tarpon Springs to get some pottery sponges. But got so distracted by the food, didn't get any sponges, so I'm still using these things. Uh, most of last year, last late summer and fall, I spent preparing um, to do one of my first shows um, in the new potting era for me, um, refurbishing a old booth, um, 
Oh, getting and using a cell phone so I could swipe a credit card. I never had a cell phone. I guess the first time I was called out on the Who Throws Your Pots was when I did some pottery pig banks, step by step, and um, how to put on the feet and the eyes and the tail, and somebody said, yeah, but how do you throw them? I did find, uh, through last summer, Okay, did some summer, summer living pots, some olive oil pours, and some little soap, olive oil dipping plates that could also be soap plates uh, with or without holes punched in them. Uh, but yeah, once again, a little low, sh shallow, flat bowl. So, um, and actually this series of jugs I'm working on, 101 jugs, all different, taking influence from um, different pots and uh, pots from different centuries and millennia. Um, when I started it was also because, um, you know, relearning the skills, throwing skills, a jug being a different, difficult thing to do, I could hardly throw a one pound jug at the time. So it didn't seem that I should be demonstrating how to throw something when I could barely throw a piece on the wheel. So I either built up to something or maybe it's this clay. I've been trying some different clays lately. Um, yeah, I, at the historic village, um, Southside Historic Village, we, we made bread in a pot. <laughs> we didn't, um, yeah, I don't know that I threw a piece, but we throw, threw bread in a pot. Another series I did last summer, the um, Picasso influenced pieces from the Medora pottery, which were uh, rather complex pieces with uh, thrown, um, uh, yeah, like Batijo thing with the donut. Uh, pot on top of it and a, the ring, throne ring handles. So it was um, this last series of pots when I actually did throw um, a five pound jug. I surprised myself in the end when it came out. So apparently maybe I can throw a pot. Okay, I can trim some more off of this bottom later, but I just, for somebody who can't throw, just trimmed a good bit off of it right now. Um, this is a very sharp rib.
and the slip technique that I've been having so much fun with lately. Who throws your pots? Okay, I throw mine. Okay, so I've enjoyed this little series in a series. In the background, you know, that's the fun stuff. In the background, I am working on a dinnerware set right now. These are the some of the sandwich plates. <laughs> it's always nice to get to a next level again. Um, this was once me too. This was made in two pieces, well, plus a spout. So I'm not quite there again yet. And this too is me. I've never canned anything before or made pickles. Now, if you don't believe I did this, stop back next week and see what happens in the studio. Or maybe the kitchen.